Okay, I'm back out here in my shop this morning. Uh, I've got a new project that I'm getting ready to start and I'm pretty excited about this one. Uh, as you can see here, I've got a bunch of uh, cigar boxes that I picked up at my local tobacco store. I've got two of them fairly close to me and I stopped and uh, picked up some cigar boxes. And what I'm going to be uh, doing uh, this weekend is I'm going to be working on a cigar box guitar. I saw some of these uh, online and, and got to looking at them. I think, man, that's, that's pretty cool. I love the way they sound. Um, and you can get them as, as plain or as fancy as, as you want. Uh, and some of the research uh, that I did online, uh, I discovered one thing that apparently nobody ever makes just one. So uh, I guess once you build one, you kind of get addicted to, to making these things. So. As you can see, I planned for that and I've already uh, got several boxes here. And I think this one right here, this is the one I got modeled up in my 3D software. Uh, I measured this box and got it modeled up. So I'm gonna use this box for my first one. And I'm pretty excited to, to get started on this project. I'm gonna use my uh, CNC router over here to, uh, to cut the, uh, the neck and the uh, fretboard. I found a nice fretboard calculator uh, online and so I used that to get the exact dimensions for the uh, where the frets go so I'm going to use my CNC router to uh, basically just mark the location of the fret saw. I'm going to use a little v-bit just put just a slight groove and then I'll come back with a fret saw and, and put the frets in but uh, anyway I'm going to get started uh, making some parts here and I'll keep the video rolling and update you on the progress. Okay, so I got my first uh, cigar, cigar box guitar part off uh, the CNC router. Uh, what I did is this is a, uh, a just a one by uh, piece of red oak that I bought from Lowe's, my local home improvement center. And what I've done is I programmed it to make this, to mill this down uh, to where it's about five eighths thick. Uh, I've got another guitar in there, and uh, looks like that's what the, the thickness of this, this needs to be, the headstock. Also, you, if you can see this, I don't know if you can see it in that video or not, but I've marked the locations of where my tuner pegs are going to go. I haven't drilled those all the way through. I've just basically marked the locations, but I haven't got my tuner pegs yet, and I need to wait until I get those to find out for sure uh, what size hole I need to put in there, and if it needs to be a tapered hole or, or whatever. Uh, anyway, you can see how this is going to go through this box. I haven't cut away the box yet, but uh, you can see how this will go through, all the way through. I'll mark and drill some holes and counterbore them on this side for the uh, for the string here. And uh, overall, I'm quite quite happy with how this turned out. I think this is going to going to work out really well. And hope seems to be some really good. Uh, Material to make the to make the next out of. So the next step is I'm going to uh, cut. I've got some uh, quarter inch material. I'm going to cut the uh, the fretboard and uh, get it ready to go on here. And then I'm also going to going to cut down the box. So I'll keep the video rolling and keep you updated on the progress.
Okay, I've cut a couple more pieces on my uh, CNC router. This is the uh, fretboard. Uh, this is cut out of a piece of uh, quarter inch red oak. And I used a 60 degree uh, quarter inch V bit just to put a little groove here to locate where I'm going to saw to put the, uh, the slots for the frets. And then, of course, I'm going to make a fixture to uh, round over this edge, just put a slight radius on this as well. I went ahead and put these holes all the way through because I think what I'm going to do, just to give this some contrast, I'm going to uh, stain this a darker color and then uh, take a quarter inch dowel and put in here and, and uh, sand it smooth to uh, create the, uh, the fret marker. So the other little piece I did was the, the bridge which, uh, and this is a, a, again a piece of quarter inch oak. I'm not sure if I really like it this small. I may go with uh, something a little bigger, maybe a little wider, a little thicker. Uh, I don't know, we'll see how this see how this works out. Seems plenty strong enough, but uh, I'm not sure if I like it, like it this small. So anyway, I'm gonna uh, cut the box down next and we'll start uh, fitting this neck in. Okay, I've been working on the uh, cutout of the box here, and I've got, I've got a pretty good fit. I think this is going to, I've got this just about flush here, and then when I get the fretboard put on, it's going to be about a quarter inch above, just like I wanted. And this is going to be a 25 and a half inch scale, so the bridge is going to go approximately here. And, uh, of course, i got to put a couple of sound holes in there, and, uh, won't take much more to get this one finished up. I do have to get my uh, tuner pegs. I haven't got those in yet. I do have a uh, a uh, kit with a piezo uh, pickup and a uh, volume control and a and a jack, so I can uh, work on the electronics once I get once I get all the rest of it done. So uh, that's going to be all for this video. I guess we'll call this part one of uh, my first. Uh, cigar box guitar build and uh, I'll uh, keep the video rolling when I get uh, get ready to finish it up. Thanks for watching and if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel and watch for future videos. Thank you.